Okay, let me be the one to acknowledge. Yes, the cartoon version of myself looks absolutely ridiculous next to John Wick. If you've been here at my channel long enough, you have an idea of what kind of films and series I enjoy. I'm honestly not a fan of films with lots of blood and violence in them. I have never watched a horror movie my entire life and I've literally fainted at the sight of blood. It, it's a long story. But I do love watching action films. Granted that they're not that bloody. So I have my fun with action movies. And in early 2023, John Wick 4 was being played in cinemas. I've heard about it, but I've never actually watched the film franchise. So one evening, our family decided to watch the entire John Wick trilogy to prepare us for the fourth installment. I had no expectations for it, but wow, I never thought I'd enjoy the franchise so much. John Wick's about, well, John Wick, who's an assassin. But what I really like about John Wick, the movie, is how professional the assassins were. I've watched a handful of assassin films, but John Wick takes the cake for being the best one for me. So much so that I decided to make a video exploring the business of assassination. Hi, I'm Zidney, and this is John Wick, the professional world of assassins. For those who have seen this movie franchise, I'll just be listing down the professionalisms of their world. I don't think I'll be saying something new. But for those who have never watched this film series, well, you're in for a treat. So I will do my best not to spoil so much so you could also watch the tetralogy yourself. So John Wick, the character, is a professional assassin. I know we've heard that term a lot in a lot of action movies. But the term professional assassin is truly evident in the film series. And here's why. In the John Wick verse, common terminologies are not what they sound like. And one of them is dinner reservation. When I first heard the term from John, I was puzzled on what he meant. He just killed a bunch of guys and then he called someone and said that he needed a dinner reservation for 12. And then this guy Charlie showed up and disposed of the bodies. So dinner reservation is a code phrase for needing someone to dispose of dead bodies. Money is also quite different in their universe. Gold coins are the currency of the underground world. I don't think it was ever explained how much one coin is, but from what I've witnessed is that John was always giving a coin after getting a gun, booking a night at the Continental, and other services assassins need. So it's not really a matter of value when it comes to using the gold coin. It's a representation of doing favors. Additionally, the value of each coin can fluctuate depending on the person who holds it. Obviously, a coin from the very well-known Baba Yaga John Wick has a higher value than some random newbie assassin. And one of the things the gold coins can be used for is booking a night at the Continental. The Continental is a chain of hotels located all around the world that function as a neutral territory for members of the criminal underworld. To simply put it, it's a hotel for professional killers. And you're probably thinking, well, a hotel for professional killers? That's chaotic! Well, you see, even though the guests of the hotel are mostly hired hitmen, there is a very important rule in the hotel that no business can be conducted on the hotel premises, including fighting and carrying out contracts on other assassins in the hotel. In short, killing each other is not allowed. And you would say, well, that's a simple rule that could easily be broken. Well, not really. You see, these assassins take this code very seriously, and breaking the sacred rule has some dire consequences. One assassin broke the rules and she was killed. So yeah, it's never a good idea to piss off a bunch of professional murderers. And just like any other ordinary hotel, it has its services and accommodations. There's a weapons and ammunition supply with a sommelier serving their guests, fashion and body armor, a cartographer, medical services, so literally a hotel for assassins. Fascinating, right? Okay, so I mentioned that you can't break continental rules. 
And if you did, you will be declared excommunicado or excommunicate. I first heard this term while I was reading Jose Rizal's No Limitangere and El Filibusterismo, where Ibarra was being excommunicated or expelled from the Catholic Church. By the way guys, do check out GMA's Maria Clara at Ibarra on Netflix. It will give you a glimpse of our Philippine history. Or read the books. That works too. Being excommunicated from the Catholic Church, Ibarra couldn't marry Maria Clara under the Catholic Church because he is no longer recognized in the church. So excommunicado means almost the same in John Wick, but so much worse. If one is declared excommunicado in John Wick, then that person will lose their rights and they will no longer be protected by the Continental. And then they can be killed without consequences. So how would people know that one assassin is excommunicado and can be killed without consequences? That's where administration comes in. Administration is a bureaucratic organization that maintains records of all known criminals who have ever associated with the high table. It is responsible for keeping track of whether an individual is excommunicado or not, as well as processing and tracking bounty contracts. So who orders administration? The high table. The ultimate authority of the underground world, the high table consists of 12 powerful crime lords from all over the world. They're the unseen antagonists in the John Wick franchise. And this very powerful organization is headed by... The elder is the highest power in the table. He is the ultimate boss. Killing him would be pointless because he could easily be replaced by another. And of course, the elder doesn't do the dirty work. He has agents for that. Adjudicators, Marquis, and Harbingers are all agents of the high table. The adjudicator is a representative of the elder in which they were given authority by the high table to deal with John Wick. Marquis, quite similar to adjudicators, was appointed as the person in charge of tracking down and eliminating John Wick and settling accounts with those who have allied themselves with John. The main difference I've observed is that adjudicators never directly use violence to get what they want, while the Marquis does. The other high table agent is the Harbinger. Also a high-ranking and powerful representative of the high table, his job is to oversee the rules and customs of the high table and settle disputes between members of the table. And one of the major disputes revolve around markers. Introduced during the second movie, markers are blood oaths. John Wick had to fulfill a blood oath in Chapter 2 and the story sort of revolves around that. These markers are considered to be the last resort for any favor. The person who made the blood oath had to do what the marker holder told them to do, and they have no choice but to fulfill it because it was a pack sealed by blood. Hence the term blood oath. Every marker must be honored and you can't kill the marker holder or you're gonna get killed. So do you guys see? The world that John Wick lives in is indeed the world of professional assassins. They don't just kill for the sake of killing. They don't just do whatever they want to. In this world, even killers have rules. As Winston said, Rules. Without them, we live with the animals. Honestly, all these rules and codes are what kept me watching. It was such a fascinating thing to discover a new feature or terminology from the world of assassins. And I hope you weren't overwhelmed by this short video I made. That's why I really encourage you to watch the entire John Wick franchise. The four John Wick films already gave us a glimpse into the business of killing. I could only imagine what their upcoming spin-off series, The Continental, could give us. And I'm excited to dive deeper into John Wick's underground world of professional assassins.
guys, I just want to thank John Wick Wiki for most of the information about the film franchise. I also want to say that I'm so proud of myself for being able to pronounce Adjudicator, Marky, Harbinger, and of course, Sommelier. I felt like I was doing tongue twisters. Anyways, please watch John Wick. Promise you'll enjoy the franchise. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!